All right, here we go. This is a ranked 2v2 on duel between the blue team in the upper left. Obvious smurfs in strikers, in Frank strikers. That would be a no hen or a no when, like I know when or something. I'm just gonna call him. I don't know, wh whatever. I, I might feel like calling him different things throughout the game, but his po his uh, his teammate possibility. Um, once again, both in Frank strikers and their opponents. Jivati faction members in the green color. It is Belligerent Fool in the Camo Paladin and it, the big boss in the Mecha War Dog. Looks like they are going with their um, Boxer Cheese, but they are going to have to deal with possibility and an, a no win. Uh, cheesing themselves here with no Boxers, just Mortys, which is pretty typical. They have been able to neutralize it, which is, you know, not very surprising with eight Mortys and two players and Strikers and Frank Strikers especially. But uh, it will does look like, yes, possibility going down, and it is a complete fail. Cheese and Owen going for the next one. And, uh, you know, I would assume Belligerent and, oh, Belligerent and Big Boss going for their forward instead. Okay, this is definitely not enough Mortys, <laughs> but it does look belligerent, look belligerent has been able to, um, you know, respond to that uh, other cheese in, in time. But Big Boss going down there to response by the two Smurfs. And now it does look like a normal game will begin. How's about that? How's about that? Normal game going to start when both teams were both planning on cheesing. Possibility dropping to do harass, but nowadays, and belligerent fool dropping a little. <laughs> oh man, and no one now gonna start mid fight. Oh man, there's no socket units down for that team. <laughs> Moneymaker's down for the blue team. Pretty standard, normal, um, you know, normal um, style here. Approaches opening, I guess, is what you could say, besides the cheese. Um, and I guess that actually is a pretty uh, a good idea. Delay your opponent, uh, you know, if they go no sockets and you are going with money makers, uh, delay them by cheesing, you know? Maybe maybe, maybe it'll work out. Um, and you, know, you never know how much money they will spend as long as you kind of try to, um, I mean, that's not what they were intending on doing. I'm pretty sure they just intended on just straight up cheesing. Um, the goalie going down doesn't look like the green team is way ahead of the blue team in the mid fight. They have a lot more units over here. Although Belligerent really low on health. See if he can actually survive here. Possibility actually also low on health. Getting finished off. But both Javadi members are very, very... Oh, whoa, and they survived. I was about to say they're almost dead. No one is doing a, a hover but here, but uh, does look like he will be able to uh, not be able to finish off Belligerent. And uh, no one himself has to retreat. Big Boss going to bring a hat. Ooh, a hat. Hats are super dangerous, uh, you know, or they can be. I mean, you know, just one, mm, not necessarily, but especially against Franks, I guess. It's not, it's not that big of a deal. The green team grabbing this outpost under the control. Let's see if they can hold it. Um, yeah, Paladin with, okay, nah, it doesn't look like you're going to be able to hold it from, oh, I don't know. Aggro is on the mechs right now, and they will be able to finish off a lot of these units with a Warthog, um, you know, getting protected by a Paladin and Belligerent and, and, and Big Boss cleaning house. And that is about it. There's only Seeker left over there. Now they're just going to work on the left side here. They need to ferry their units over here to this left or just set them on a straight wide. This this heavy mine right here is a little bit of a concern. Oh, Flacker, or sorry, Hunter Seeker getting big boss on the way back to that outpost. Uh, and Belligerent almost getting killed himself, but that power station is there to save him. He is there to, to, to tank hit the damage for all of his tank line, and it is working. Um, you know, the, the Red Gemini are going down, and his Gemini are surviving, uh, and yeah. Now we do have his teammate coming back to the battlefield. Possibility with the jammer down on the field with only, oh, no, actually no artillery down for that green team. So it's not really that productive. Um, oh, and Big Boss landing with two Gemini back here with this artillery. He will, to, or to kill the artillery, will be able to survive there. And the, uh, the two non-Smurf players, who I'm pretty sure Smurf all the damn time themselves, um, and have probably smurfed with at least, at the very least, possibility. I'm just guessing here. I'm just guessing. Yeah, uh, you know. <laughs> I, 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 let's see if they deny it. Uh, I don't think they will. But uh, yeah, uh, they are actually winning this mid fight. Um, the mid fight's over. Actually, they are now approaching the forward. The paladin, tanky for the warthog. The warthog going down though. Uh, to that hat, the big boss. So uh, d it does. Oh no, belligerent going back to an outpost that doesn't belong to him. And getting focused by the two strikers, the two Frank strikers. And now let's see if they can actually, uh, you know, take advantage of the absence of these two mechs here on the field. Big Boss will come back to battlefield first, but they have lost a jammer and a couple more units. It looks like a patcher and a tank as well. Um, but uh, now Big Boss is back to the mid fight. Uh, belligerent coming with some creeps, so they will be able to take this. Oh, they have already taken the outpost under the control. He needs to bunker them creeps. No, doesn't bunker them. Uh, 33 of 32. Pretty darn even in terms of unit count, but it's, you know, the, the greens, green team's units are a little bit more spread out than the blue team's units. Blue team's units are much more effectively, uh, you know, 
located, I guess we can say, uh, for mid-fighting. And right now, a lot of the green team's units are kind of off to the side. A hat way back here. Belligerent and Big Boss are actually both really low on health. But uh, both blue strikers have forced, been forced out of the area. It does look like they will be able to regen on the ground and not be killed, taking cover of their own tanks. And uh, they will be able to survive that fight. Okay, 42 to 39. And oh, Box spawn, Box spawn. Big Boss grabbing one. Belligerent going to grab the other. And it does look like the green team has been able to take both boxes. And um, Smurfs just out of luck. I did not actually catch the 430, but uh, you know they did at around 445 or 441, whatever the hell that was. Big Boss grabbing that box really quick and staying alive you know, in that super tanky Warthog. Not as tanky as the Paladin, but still pretty darn tanky. And it does look like the green team will be able to hold for now 59 or sorry 49 to, to 52 in favor of the blue or in favor of the green team blue team with a lot more artillery out uh, actually significantly more because the green team doesn't look like they have any artillery out but they do have jammers and sonyas out on the field to combat against the artillery so they are going more with a tank oriented play keep the tanks alive with healing units and uh, you know and artillery jammers and now going for their patented cheese here uh, I would say patented based on the last game versus Mimo, but yes, I are, they are going to go for the close. I don't think the Mortys are going to be actually walking in as a lot of them are derping out. Uh, surprise, surprise, right? Uh, yes, none of them are actually walking in. Now a, f a couple of them are. Oh, enough are! And Belligerent Bull with that speed aura actually, wow. Uh, oh no, that was just the defense aura. Okay, I guess so. But a speed aura would have been great, I guess, in that situation. But uh, either way, they have been able to successfully cheese this uh, this close outpost. Let's see if the Smurfs can actually do anything about this. Uh, it doesn't look like it. 58 to 63, or 56 to 63 at this point. Uh, so, I mean, it's not like they are dramatically behind. But now they will start to hit their unit cap, whereas the green team will be able to just build 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 because they do have that extra outpost under the control they will be able to grab this power station probably and power station will be able to get them quite a lot of upkeep uh let's see if any team okay yeah both play both teams have jam uh not jammers generators and money makers in their loadout possibly they're trying to finish off that seeker but no this the, the paladin does land and start to tank the damage himself and now big boss is here to fight against the noah here at the mid fight uh, it doesn't look like there's going to be too much progress for the green team. Just going to want to hold. I mean, that's pretty much the safe way to play right now. Just hold. If you try to take mid, you might lose a lot of units, especially because there's a couple of artillery pointing in. So hold for now. Drop enough, enough uh, healing units and tanks to hold the line. And, uh, you know, because you do have that outpost cheesed up here, you will be able to hold out, make enough units, and eventually push that fort. They don't really have any upkeep to defend with. 56 out of 60. And once they build four more units worth of upkeep, or four more upkeep worth of units, however you want to put that. Uh, they will be able to just, uh, or they will not be able to drop anything else in defense, and it does look like the blue team uh, will lose a couple tanks here to the patented pad paladin, uh, the paladin blocking tanking while the warthog kills, uh, you know, technique, which is uh, pretty common nowadays. And now possibly they're trying to get whatever he ki can killed. Uh, the birth of pointing in the Sonya does not get finished off. Big Boss does protect that and will be able to heal it up now that he is here. Possibly trying to finish off this the the. Oh well, he does bomb down a jammer, so gotta you know, right right there. That's well, that's pretty much the reason Sonyas are used to begin with. Um, dingers are hilarious. I don't know if anyone has seen that, but they do have insane, incredible range. You can put them pretty much all the way behind your all your units, and they will be able to cover them all. Uh, try it. Drop the dinger and look at the range indicator. It's ridiculous. Big Boss surviving that attack. Wow. Uh, not killed by the uncoordinated Smurfs. Probably not on voice chat or anything like that. Unless, uh, unlike these two guys who are don't who don't even need a voice chat program actually. So um, so yeah. Uh, an uncoordinated Smurfs did not properly high low there. Oh, and two goalies with a Paladin tanking and a Warthog firing in will be able to clean house here. Even though the two goalies die, it will be very likely that uh, a lot more uh, credits worth of units for the blue team dies over here. It's not like the blue team is that credit star for no one with 23,000 in his bank. Oh, and killing Big Boss actually there. And now Possibility uh, is going to start pumping out ge uh, generators. But, uh, you know, here at the fort, they will be pressured, you know, by all these units over here. No Bertha's coming out or no artillery to begin with at all coming out for the green team, which is a little surprising to see. Uh, now it does look like the blue team has been able to actually overrun the green team's units over here with their with their artillery and, uh, you know, their leapfrog play. The uh, and, and, you know, pretty much with the death of, I think, uh, was Big Boss that went down. So, uh, you know, Belligerent was the only one to hold the line there. He did decide to go for this fort uh, or, you know, with his close. And he is now pushing the fort. Let's see what happens now. Big Boss is going to start to move out. 
and Belligerent. Oh, but Heavy Mines are down, so they do need to do a mass hold or do a little bit of micro to disarm these mines. And yes, they have been able to actually successfully do that. Big Boss getting killed by possibility with his heal with his striker missiles, but does it even matter? Um, the, the green team has quite a lot of units over here. They are, now they are way behind, actually. 67 to 44. So if they hold this off, the Smurfs might actually be able to push up and uh, take the majority of the map control. And it does look like they will be able to hold out for now. Let's see if Possibility needs to just land and slash. The two Seekers aren't really that threatening, especially with the shield. Um, and now Noen is going to start to go for the forward. Will the blue team, will the green team be able to get this finish? Oh man, will they be able to get this finish? It's really, really, really close. And that is going to be it, actually. And boom. Oh yeah, there's no way the blue team's going to be able to survive this. The goalie dropped at the corner, and that's going to be it. Man, if the blue team was able to hold out there, they almost definitely would have been able to, to take this game and, uh, yeah, and, 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 uh, and, and win. Because they had map control, they had all the units on the field, it was like 60-something to, like at the end it was something like 40 or 30-something. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was definitely enough units. Great dis decision to push there by, uh, I think that was Belligerent that initially sent that push out, but I couldn't really tell, I don't really remember exactly. But, uh, but yeah, um, and even this, and the blue team even outscoring the green team. But, it, you know, that just goes to show that, uh, you know, good timing, uh, good decision making, not necessarily decision making, but, you know, taking advantage of timing. That's probably the biggest lesson to, to learn here, I guess. This is one of the reasons they were able to take uh, the game in that last uh, game on Nestorn against Mimo um, was, was just taking advantage of, uh, you know, undefended posts, um, you know, pushing at the right time, pushing in at the right times. Um, and, you know, taking that close did realize that it was unguarded after winning the majority of the mid fight and uh, pushing out at the right time before they were able to get anything defended out uh, before, you know right after the generators came out so it was probably a little bit late but at that time before the generators came, generators came out they might not have had enough upkeep or, or units to actually get that finish either way great game um, chalk one up for the non uh, you know <laughs> Minus one for the Smurfs. I'm not going to say plus one for non-Smurfs because that doesn't really make sense. But either way, minus one for Smurfs. All right, guys. If you guys uh, are able to trounce any Smurfs in matchmaking, definitely send them those replays into me as long as the games are, uh, you know, cool. All right, guys. Cool. This is RUI, and that is game. See you next time.